Welcome to Let's Play Half-Life, Part 2. Let's continue off where we last left off, which was the beginning of We've Got Hostiles. And, yeah, I did have to shotgun this poor scientist in the face. It would have been bad. Uh, let's start, continue with this. Oh, right, um... Uh, yeah, actually, no. They're, they're, I, I'm going to have to set this thing off anyway. Also, if you didn't see what I picked up there, the MP5. Yes, this is an MP5. That's what the game calls it. And it uses pistol ammo. So at this point, the pistol is completely and utterly worthless, except for uh, picking this, these little things, the head crabs off uh, from a distance. And that's about it. That's the only thing we will be using the pistol for for the remainder of the game. But I'm still using the shotgun. I love this shotgun. These things are just gonna keep me on. Let's just break these crates. See if they have any goodies. No goodies? Really? Even in the big one? Seriously? Uh. Okay, that actually hurt me from that far away. another one in there. Uh, well, we'll figure out a uh, way to get in there. Because this thing is broke as hell. However, as you can see, there's a ventilation shaft. That actually has some broke at, um, broke things. Like, I think we can... Yep. No, we can't reach it. But the, we, we will be getting in there some at some point, so... Which they have nothing. Come on, game. Give me something to work with. I'm just gonna leave that head crab there, I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, be careful. This water is slippery. You can actually slip into, either slip, come, 
uh, go through the laser, causing the turrets to shoot at you, and then somehow kill yourself by falling into that vent, um, that uh, elevator shaft, or just manage to stop yourself and still get um, uh, be filled with holes. So, uh, that God damn. Then I, I forgot that there was a loading screen here. Uh, yeah. I believe this will make for a notable paper, don't you? Are you guys worrying about? Didn't you just ask me that? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Hold on. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I. It's highly probable that our luck will change, don't you agree? Yeah, I kind of, uh. Of course not. Of course not. Our luck is shit. It's the G-Man. Walking through like a pimp. Okay. Here. Do you still say there's nothing to chaos theory? Damn it! Why did you move? Stupid scientist. Okay, now move. Okay, good. Alright, awesome, awesome, awesome. And with that, we managed to get through that section of We've Got Hostiles without... Uh, no, there was an absolute lot of problems with what happened there. Don't be ridiculous. Should we leave them there? Because they're pretty much in a very shitty situation. Like, you know what? I'm gonna be merciful. How the hell did that explosion affect me from over here? Rescued at last! Thank God you're here. Yeah, that pretty much shows you that the military is not here to save us. Pretty much what they're here to do is kill everyone associated with the project. W with what happened here. So, let's get started. I really don't like uh, fighting against the military in this game. They are... I I'm saying it now. I enjoy fighting against the Combine in Half-Life 2 more so than fighting the goddamn military in this game. You end up losing a lot more health and energy fighting the military because they're... They're quick on their feet. They do quite a bit of damage. And they're, they're usually in big numbers. Unlike the Combine where they don't really move all that much. 
they're not that fast, and their attacks aren't really that damaging. So, uh, that's a lucky start there. Oh, right, I picked up all the ammo. Alright. Uh, let's see. No energy. What about you? No energy. Great. Let's not go that way. There's a lot of lasers and two trip mines. Not dealing. God damn it. God damn it. You know what? Running behind, through backwards, L um, yeah, conveyor belts is weird. Well, so I mean, so is going, uh, going up, down escalators is also weird. But I enjoy doing that. Nothing's wrong with going down up escalators. And anyone who tells you it's wrong is wrong. Seriously, nothing. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Unlike, uh, Half-Life 2, most crates don't have stuff. Or at least in Half-Life 2, you know what crates do, do have stuff and what doesn't have stuff. I'm going back. Wait, hold on. Oh, thank fuck. That didn't, that, that, uh, silo door did not close. Aw. So, yeah, I'm not using the shotgun on the military, guys. It's not worth it. On aliens, the shotgun's your best bet. When it comes to the military, use use the submachine gun. It's pretty much your best friend when it comes to them. A lot of ammo does an ample supply of damage. You're going to want it. Take me with you. I'm the I'm one the that knows everything. It's at this point where you're never at 100-100. You're always going to be taking pot shot damage from just about everything. And I just don't like that. Actually, no. If, it, if you're never at 100% health, then the game's doing something right with its difficulty. Really? 
Seriously? Oh, well, that one gave me ammo. Oh. Just ammo for my submachine gun. Great. Uh. Oh, right. Oh, we're not going there. We are going over here so we can get some ammo that I don't need anymore at no. All right, on to the correct way that we need to go. Kill everyone? Are you all dead? Oh, yay, energy. I needed that. Now I need a way down. Uh. Oh, this way. Oh, I recognize that place. Have something. I I dread what comes with coming next. Come on. Ah, great. Ah, I dread what's hap What's gonna happen next? I mean, I technically don't even need a quick save. There, there's gonna be a loaded screen up here. Take too long there, they're gonna bomb your ass to hell. So just get to over here as fast as you can. Uh, oh, yeah, and that place ends up getting blocked off, so there's no returning. So, hey, ammo, energy, well, ammo, armor, everything you could possibly need. I, what? Can I go in there with it? Go in here without dying now? Supposed like those two guys were actually supposed to come down from a via a, a, like a zip line, but I guess not. They just died. They fell to their deaths. Huh. Weird. Never had that happen before. Uh, right. This way leads to exactly where I hope. First. Previously in previous areas, we saw things like this. Places we couldn't get to because of the fences that had ammo. Well, we now have access to them now. But I don't need it. But it'd be a waste. So, 
Oh yeah, 125 uh, reserve ammo is all you're gonna have for the shotgun. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> eh, I'll keep the flashlight on. Wow, another one of these. Uh, kill 12, dumbass. Okay, you know what? No, I am loading back because they were supposed to say something and I ruined it by flashing my flashlight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just take the ammo. Now to see what these guys are going to say, because they, they have a uh, plot somewhat important somewhat important plot stuff okay what let me quick save before I get there all right they're not supposed to know I'm there Okay, let's try this again. Honestly, what the hell's going on? They're supposed to say something, you know. If it doesn't work, I, I, that's that, that'll be it. I guess I'm supposed to keep moving, all right? Okay, all right, they're supposed to say I've killed 12 dumbass scientists and not one of them is, um, knows where Freeman is. They're looking for you, man. They know who you are, they believe that you're the one that caused all this, and to be honest, they're, they're not wrong. We sort of did, but we're not the ones who necessarily, we, we were just the ones that pressed the button. We didn't necessarily cause all of this. But yeah, that's what they think. The military is after you specifically, as well as killing everyone responsible. And if from what we see in Opposing Force, which we're, I don't own Opposing Force, so I might as well spoil, spoil this, they were initially here to capture Freeman. And most of them weren't necessarily here to kill you, but events ended up happening, a lot of people died, and so they decided to take their frustration on the scientists. Uh, not yet. There's supposed to be another thing I'm supposed to get around here. Oh. Well, not yet. Huh. Well, let's get down here. Power Ammo. Sucks to be this guy. He died in the freezer. Okay. Back to where we need to go. Because there's nowhere else for us to go anymore. On to this ventilation shaft. Or not. I get just get the feeling that because that was a loading screen, I think there might be like more stuff, but we just go over this way.
No, wait a second. No, this is plot. This is plot. I'm going the wrong way. We're going to supposed to go to places that's not plot so we can get more ammo and stuff like that. I mean, well, we already have an ample supply of ammo for all of my weapons. All three of my weapons. And two of which share ammo, so... I think this is, like, only a loading screen because, like, we've been here before. But it's having to load everything again. I don't remember. Yeah. Get. Oh, let's just head back. Nothing there worth my while. Just pain. Lots and lots of pain. I'm, I'm sorry for having to, like, waste your time a bit. It... it yeah. Let's just get on with the story and the game. Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Judging from your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda Complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Good luck. And that's pretty much, and there we have it, folks. That is our end goal for the game. Find the Lambda Complex, meet with the Lambda team, and bring an end to all of this. Five chapters in, and we... This could happen, but the administrator just would not listen. So you knew about the administrator. You knew what, what happened. Why didn't you stop it? Huh? 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 I predicted all of this, you know. All of it. Well, anyway. Pretty much, we now have our end goal. So let's continue on, shall we? Blast pit. This is a very annoying level. You know what? No, hold on. I I have no grenades. I actually used them all. Shit. I've got a boomstick. Why is Yeah, until we get until we find ourselves our somewhat crossbow, we're gonna have to deal with the pistol as our long range weapon. <laughs> ah, damn it. Damn it! The one thing that gets you in freaking zombie games. Reloading. That's nice. How many grenades is that? Five. Okay. I'll be sure not to waste them. Down the elevator shaft. Let's make a quick save here. Ah, 
gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out. Shit. And now our Geiger counter is going off like crazy. Hold on. Just needed to... Something popped up on my computer. I need to remove it. Bad timing. Well, we finally made it to the surface, and we have to go back into the belly of the beast that is Black Mesa. Not exactly the best of things that happened to old Golden... Oh, Gordon Freeman. So. Oh, shit. Does, do these things like hanging around radiation? I tell you, by the end of this, Gordon Freeman's gonna have cancer. Or superpowers. Or superpowered cancer. Nah, probably cancer. Actually, you know what? Knowing Half Life, it's probably superpowers. The power to block a bullet with his glasses. <laughs> because. We don't have a helmet. We just have our glasses. So how the hell we're able to survive a lot of things in this game is beyond me. Okay, how are we supposed to get over there? Well, it's simple. Let's go over here. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Just keep walking over here. There we go. But before I grab this, let's just deal with these things. It's health and armor. I don't want that going to waste. health and armor. That'll probably go away soon. Actually, no. It might, it might not. We don't have to deal with the military again for quite a, for a little bit. Just aliens. And I can easily take care of aliens without taking much damage, so. Yeah, it's, it's weird. The military is the worst thing you have to encounter in this game. Aliens, not so much. Jumping. Oh, I hate this. And for the sake of everyone, audio.
You're gonna thank me. Shit! I need to scr uh, itch a, um, scratch an itch. <laughs> then that guy appeared. Why are the rocket aimed at Shit! Stop. Seriously, fucking pop ups. Okay. Essentially, he said to fire the rocket. That thing is growing. And the thing they're talking about is, uh, that. No! 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 Get it off me! Get it off! Get it off! Yeah. Seriously? Barnacles everywhere, man. Be quiet. This thing hears us. Yeah, it can hear you. As such. Hey! Hey, over here! Eat lead, you outer space octopus! Well, uh, SEAL Team Barney is back, I guess. He was supposed to shoot that thing and he was supposed to die right in front of us. To show that this thing hears us. So, what you're supposed to do... Is this. Wasting all my grenades here. Okay, let's just head back there, because that was a bunch of shit throws. And I usually don't do shit throws when it comes to grenades. Hurry up, hurry up. I think, yep, it hurt us. Okay, good. That's why I don't like this level. Like, this is my least favorite level in the game. It's because of those damn tentacle things. I have to keep watching where I'm going. I have to make sure I have my grenades at the ready. A bunch of bullshit that I don't like having to deal with. No, you're down here. Ah, nah, nah. It's probably done over a thousand times. The, the fucking snake eater meme. Yes. I was on a long ladder. Bitch. Die. Absolutely nothing that way. Don't waste your life. Going the wrong way, people. You never know what you might end up missing out, folks. Hi. Oh, you don't want to say hi? Hi. How you doing? Hey. 
Okay. Here you have to be, you're gonna have to be quick for this. See these fans? This fan? Well, you're gonna need to activate it. Because somehow, this fan is gonna move at a high enough speed that you'll be able to, you'll be floating up there. However, we're down here. And that thing is above us. We're gonna have to work fast. There. It takes a while, but if you take too much time and just admire the view, that thing's gonna kill you. Trust me, that's what happened. And sadly, I quick saved it down there when it was moving fast. It, it was terrible, but mind you, that was on my very first playthrough of the game. Ah, there we go. Now we just gotta move slowly to the vent. Break through it. Oh, hi, Mr. Headcrab. Die. Oh, for fuck's sake. That same pop up. It was just for something I needed to do this. I need to do it for my computer, which I'll do at a later date. Bye, Mr. Headcrab. You're no longer needed in this world. Well, to be honest, I don't think you were ever needed for anything. Hell. Just keeps popping up. I'll deal with it once after the recording. Wait, hold on. Am I literally almost out of ammo for the pistol? Fuck. And there was once a time where I was at. I guess the, the having to deal with the goddamn military. Okay, we need oxygen and fuel. That's two of the things necessary to turn on the jet engine. As we can see, oxygen and fuel is being pumped through these blue and red pipes. Which I don't remember, is, is jet fuel clear? Is, and is oxygen water-like? That makes no sense. Well, anyway. Well, let's move on to the next area that we need to uh, deal with before we can set the jet, um, jet on, um, set the jet engine on, engine on. Move, move, move. Oh right, this jump. I need more ammo. I mean, to be honest, you were giving me ample supplies of ammo before, but I don't understand why the hell they're not doing it now. It's weird. Yeah, we need these things circling, so we need to go down here. For the next piece, I think it's power. We need more power set to the, gen um, to the uh, jet engine to even turn it on in the first place. Oh, shit! You know what? I'm going to start using the crowbar again. Or not. Are you shitting me? Seriously, those things are fast. Are you shitting me? 
Well, we're almost out of pistol ammo. I never thought I'd ever see that happen. We are almost out of pistol ammo. <sighs> All right. Just cutting down, cutting through the middleman, because this is what's going to happen. It stalls. Wait a few. I'm supposed to drop. Ah. Oh well. I think it drops because you're on it. I hope no one expects me to start up the generator. Smithers went down there and never came back. Smithers. Oh, let's go save your friend. I'm not sure if that was Smithers or not, but, uh... Farewell, my friend. I never knew you. This is another where we're gonna have to work fast. This is my hiding spot, and I'm not moving until. Now go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. Okay. Turn this on and move. Now I don't remember if you had to go to the other one as well. No, you don't. Uh, you do. You do. All right. So I'm gonna have to go to the other one now. Killed him. Not exactly sure. But we yeah, I think he's dead. We turned it on and he was on top of the generator. He's most likely dead from electric shocks. Doesn't matter. Excellent. Someone has restored all power. We'll have the engine up again in no time. That's good. Time to go up the ladder. Yeah, still, still not gonna make that Snake Eater reference. N no! No! Oh. What the fuck? Ah. Damn it. Well, okay. All right, yeah. Now there's water there. However, in this version of the game, it's kind of hard to see. It ah, okay. Yeah, right around there. But that's why these boxes are here. We're going to need these. Just get all the boxes in a line.
I think you're actually going to need all of them. Not exactly. I don't exactly remember. Plus, it's hard to gauge uh, the uh, the range of the electric water because uh, and it, it was like very very visible in the uh, older version of Half Life and like the very first non-source version of Half Life. But in this, not so much. And that was like that's like the the only detriment to that. Well, that and not being able to explode bodies. Ah, ah, doesn't matter. Let's get over and let's get this over and dealt with. I've had enough with this mission. Gents, you may want to move away from that. Just saying. Quick save. That, our little octopus po problem is over and done with. Now, whatever happened to the two new additional members of SEAL Team Barney? They're dead. Yeah. They're dead. Sucks, but eh. Ah, you know what? I should have probably killed them for their ammo. I probably should have done that. Shit. I should stop doing that. That's a blatant waste of ammo. Well. Ah. Damn it. That was terrible. God. You know what? I'm going at it the other side and just landing at the ladder. How big was this thing? Oh, shit, shit. Yeah, uh, answer pretty big. That's all that's left of it. Oh, what's that? What is that that I spy with my little eye? My favorite weapon of all time, the Magnum! The revolver. My favorite little six shooter. That can compensate for the small penis of every man in a 50 mile radius. But you know what? I'm ending it here. This part was, uh, this level was pretty long. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut it here. So, uh, I'm Cold Brad, and uh, I'll see you all next time.